Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here a brand new windows emulator for android has just launched today and it is an stand alone app it does not require you to set up termux or termux x11 this is easily one of the best windows emulator to use on your android devices apart from the winlater android now the name of this windows emulator for android is horizon emu and it is open source available on github it was actually known as mobox edge but as you guys know due to some controversies they had to change the name of the emulator to horizon emu and it is an app that lets you play windows app store games on your android devices its first ever release has been made public just today and it is very easy to use i'll show you guys how to set it up on your android devices including best settings and much more so before starting hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification because in our next video we'll be trying to play gta 5 on the same emulator it has lot of performance improvements and also experimental wine builds which we'll be taking a look at Now recommended settings are also given by the developer. If you also want to try out this Windows emulator, then note that this emulator is available on its official GitHub page. But anyways, here are the minimum requirements. You need at least Android version 9 or above, Adreno 610 GPU or above, which means Snapdragon 680 processor or above, or any other GPU that supports Turnip. Now it means that Virgil has not yet been added in this emulator, so on MediaTek processors you won't be able to use it. Though root is not required. The current build is the beta 0.8 and if you try deleting a container in this emulator it will also delete the d directory as you will be able to see uh, it will delete this folder right here from your internal storage so make sure to note not to remove containers in this app anyways i have already added this app on my android device let's just go ahead and open it now when you open it for the first time everything will be blank so it will say horizon emu at the top corner but the first step which you'll need to do is tap on this button right here and afterwards make sure to tap on the update all section so currently the update all option has been grayed out because i have already added all of these things but if you just go ahead and tap on the update all option it will add all the required uh, items like box 64 dev d8vk directx dxvk dev glibc prefix etc and every thing that is necessary in an windows emulator for android this emulator will automatically add it but one thing which you'll need to manually add is the version of wine that you want to use for example i have loaded the wine 9.7 build but if you want to use wine 9.5 vanilla you can just go ahead and tap on this button and wait until it has been set up successfully now this setup procedure takes uh, depends on your internet connection it may take around 5 to 10 minutes so just be patient you can also read the change log of the latest horizon emu update date so anyways let's just go ahead and open settings and afterwards we have the x11 settings now as horizon emu is an windows emulator based on wine it does use termux it does use termux x11 but all of that is already implemented in the app itself you don't need to use two separate apps and it is much more easier and almost as optimized as winlater android even with regular updates so that's why i think it might even be better than winlater anyways in terms of display resolution mode make sure to choose exact in terms of display resolution solution the developer recommends you 800 by 600 or something around that so you can set it to that but we'll go with 720p resolution make sure to enable full screen on device display also enable force landscape layout keep screen on and yeah that's about it now the next settings is going to be the environment settings which you can see right here now for today's video we won't be using any custom preset we'll go with default preset but if you want to create and customize the preset for example in mobox simulator we get performance compatibility presets etc and even in win later android so if you want to create a brand new preset just go ahead and tap on this plus button then tap on confirm afterwards you'll see lot of options such as box 64 dynamic wine preload big block which you can set to 0 if you want better performance you can also set the call rate flags to 0 if you want more performance and yeah there are lot of stuff available including mango hurt as you know mango hurt is an fps bar uh, which provides you with an information related to how much percent of your cpu is being utilized etc you can also change the font size so lot of customization has been provided but we won't be going through this in today's video i'll make a dedicated best setting video for the horizon emulator in the near future because i still need to experiment with all of these settings though current preset which is default is still one of the best presets so you don't really need to worry about it anyways once everything has been done you will see your container right here after adding the 
the wine version you will see that the blank uh, container screen has now your wine 9.7 or whichever wine version you use it will show you an container so you just have to tap on create new container and afterwards it will show you some settings for example in terms of environment preset here you will have to choose the custom preset that you created in terms of performance compatibility or default we'll go with the global preset in terms of box 64 you can also select the version of box 64 it has the latest box 64 version which was 24 april Anyways, in terms of DXVK driver, you get 1.6.1, 2.3.1, .1, but we'll go with a synchronous 1.10.3. And in terms of turnip driver, as you know, Mobox Simulator just has turnip driver till, till version 6.5, uh, which is not really optimized on Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processors yet. So you can go all the way up to version 8, which is the latest graphics driver. And in terms of VK D3D driver, you get only one option, which is 2.12. And in terms of D8VK, you only get 1.0. Anyways, once all of that has been done, you just have to tap on the done button and afterwards you will see an option known as don't touch. So don't touch it guys, else it might delete the D directory of your Android device as I have mentioned previously. So that's the only bug with the simulator for now. Anyways, once everything has been done, all you'll need to do is tap on the file manager option and then tap on open button. Afterwards, it will say wine is already running. Now, if you uh, start it for the first time, it will take some time to load or open up the wine. In my case, on my Android device, it took about 2-3 to three minutes of waiting until the uh, PC was successfully launched on my Android device. And if you just go ahead and open recent, you will be able to see that it is Horizon Emulator that is running uh, our Wine based desktop PC on our Android device and not Termux X11. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you want to enable touch controls, then you just have to go to the start directory and afterwards tap on input bridge option that you see in the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and tap on it afterwards it will automatically initialize input bridge you'll need to open the input bridge app first from your android device and let's go back to horizon immune tap on open desktop and there we go at the right side you will be able to, you will be able to see that on screen touch controls have been now enabled so yeah guys this is very functional emulator and just take a look at the speed at which it operates in just a single click every single folder is being loaded whereas in mobox simulator it used to be a bit slower than this now i'm not saying mobox is worse it's completely up to you guys uh, depending on which windows emulator for android do you guys want to use and i'll be uploading the gameplay of this windows emulator in my next video where we'll be trying to run gta 5 on my iq12 with snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor and 16 gb of ram uh, nonetheless, as you will be able to see, even the RPCS3 PS3 emulator works on this Windows emulator. So it is surely very optimized and you can even emulate PS3 games on your Android using a Windows emulator. I have already made a video on it which you can check out on the iCard above. Anyways though, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.